morning everyone it's monday and if you watch my videos you already know i'm behind on lectures if you're new to my channel welcome i am a post back student documenting my journey to med school this week is going to be a busy week i do have my research to do this week i have an exam this week and i have to prepare for two exams next week actually three exams and i am studying for the mcat i just registered for my mcat i'm going to be taking it in january so i'm two months out so it's time to really hit it hard so i will be doing that um so first thing first i really need to get started on these lectures for neurobiology, I think I'm like three weeks behind, so I really need to catch up. For cell bio, I have two chapters that I need to do, which is probably like a two weeks of videos. And for microbiology, there's two lectures that I need to catch up on. This online learning is really has been really stressful this semester, and I don't do well with online classes, but I'm pushing through it and we're gonna get it done. So I'm really dedicated today to get through these lectures and study for the MCAT as well. It is now two o'clock and I am now officially finished with my neurobiology lectures. I'm currently watching my cell biology lectures. I don't think I'm gonna finish those today because I definitely wanna go ahead and get started on studying for my test tomorrow and for the MCAT. So we'll see how far I go with this. I'm probably going to watch the biology lecture while I'm eating and take notes. And then once I finish eating, I'm probably going to start doing a different task because I still have a week. I still have the rest of this weekend next week to get through these lectures. So it's not that big of a deal, but I definitely needed to get started on it today. So right now I'm on my way to one of the buildings. Me and my boyfriend both have class at 530. So right now we're just going to go inside and study. I think he's um, doing some work with one of his classmates. So I'm just going to be studying until class at 530 tonight. I'm taking my lab exam tomorrow so i'm not gonna have lab late tonight which you guys know i love because i hate getting out of lab at nine o'clock at night i just hate it so i just got out of class i'm gonna be waiting for my boyfriend and while i'm waiting i'm gonna be studying for my test tomorrow it is really cold in here so hopefully he gets out pretty soon but until then i'll be studying so let's get this studying done Okay guys, it's eight o'clock, I'm back inside. I'm doing some MCAT studying. I don't know, well, I just came from outside and it's really cold, I had to like cover my ears. But at this point, I'm tired, but I know like I have to keep going and I do have enough energy in me, I think, to just keep pushing. I just gotta look, you know, think about the end goal and where I wanna be and I'm not there yet, so I have to keep going. I really think I'm gonna make some chamomile tea I really want some tea. Yeah, I'm gonna make some tea. So I'm doing you world questions right now. I am going over behavioral sciences. I just finished my test and I did not do good on this one. Like, the struggle is real. But when you get the questions wrong and you review it, that's where the growth and the learning comes. So. That's what I'm going to do, even though it's hard to like see that I'm not doing well on these e world questions right now. But hopefully it gets better. I'm finished going over my e world questions. I wrote down some notes. I really assessed like my thought process when I was approaching the question, why I thought that way, the way I should have thought. And if it's a content issue, then you know I take notes on that. And then if I need to go review in my content books to learn that, I will do that as well. So it is 10 o'clock and I'm almost ready for bed, but right before I go to bed, I'm going to study for my lab exam tomorrow because a girl needs an A in this class. I made 100 on my last exam, but we got to keep going strong. I still have two more. Yes, the semester ends next week. And I still have two more tests. It's like that in all my classes. I don't know what my professors were doing, but it is what it is. Can't complain. Just got to get it done. So. I will be studying and then I'm gonna go to bed. I have to wake up early for my research tomorrow. So I'm not gonna stay up late. I'm probably gonna study for 
30, 45 minutes-ish. Probably not a whole hour. So I don't want to cram too much before my exam. So I'll probably study for about 45 minutes, take my shower, and then I'm going to bed to get some much needed rest. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, it is nine o'clock and I'm on my way to go do my research. I'm going to try to take you guys along and record as much as possible, but I am going to be in there by myself. So it is kind of hard to like hold my phone and set it up while I am doing the research. So we'll see what all I can record. The first thing I do in the morning is I gather all of my materials. Here's my sample rack with all of my sample tubes. There are 10 of them. And after I set everything up, I'm going to go ahead and label them. So I have to label it with my initials, so you know, who was handling the tube, what's going inside, and the date, and of course, what you're sampling. So my sampling um, labeling system is 1-1 all the way to 1-5 for morning samples. And I do come back in the afternoon, so I do use 2-1 all the way to 2-5. So as you can see here, here are my samples with the date my initials what's going inside and the sample like i said one dash one and that's going to go all the way to one dash five and two dash one all the way to two dash five this is the afternoon sample tube right here so after that i have to fill up the sample tubes with the pbs and i'm using 10 milliliters of pbs to put into the sample tubes the 25 milliliter pipette broke but that's okay because it's 10 and 10. I just have to go back into it many multiple times. So here you can see the sample tube is filled with the PBS. And like I said, it's 10 milliliters. So when I'm taking my environmental samples, I use this cotton swab right here. And essentially what I do is I open the cotton swab. You want to make sure you open it from the top so you don't contaminate it. I stick it into the PBS and then I swab the door that I'm swabbing. And I put it back into the PBS and close that. And then what I do is I take a vortex machine so I can really vortex it and get all those microorganisms off the cotton swab and floating around the tube. Because what I do in the afternoon is I do um, spread plates. So I have to take the micro pipette and put that liquid onto the plate with the R2. We're using R2 media. And I put that on there and then spread it out so that we can get individual individual colony growth. So I'm going to try to show you guys an example of how I do that in the afternoon. So I do have a micro pipette here with me and it's already set to 200 microliters because that's what we're using. I have an old plate with the R2 agar already on it and as you can see there's a little bit of growth on it but this plate has already been used and counted so we're not um, using any new plates. And this is an old sample tube so as you guys can see with the tube that doesn't have anything in it yet the doors are very dirty, so make sure you're washing your hands, guys, after you touch these doors. Because this is proof that there's organisms growing on these doors. So I take a micro pipette tip and I stick that into the sample tube to, get, to draw out my 200 microliters. And once I have that, I'm going to pour that onto the plate so I can use a spread plate method. For my research and as you can guys can see this plate is now wet with the liquid on there and what i have to do is take this and spread it all the way out until it's dry and it's just like your skin you know the wetter it is it um it's going to take a little bit more time to rub that into to it and dry it out but when your skin's completely dry and if the plate is dry it doesn't take that long to spread it because it's going to soak all that moisture in and this plate right here was not very wet so it didn't take long as you guys can see all that liquid that was on it is now gone and it's dry so the plates are then incubated into this cooler so here are some plates from samples that i've already taken and spread out with my pi and i'm going to show you guys an example of a plate after about a week of growth um you can see individual colonies and then i do have to count these in store the data for calculations and analysis and you know you want to get into a range of about 30 to 300 that's the ideal range that you want to get into sorry guys my phone died as usual my phone is always on low battery but when i got done with my research in the morning it was 10 o'clock so i just looked over some notes very briefly and relaxed because i had a microbiology lab exam at 11 o'clock and now i'm about to go to my cell biology class Alright, so I'm on my way back to do my um, research in the afternoon. I won't be able to record for you guys because I will be with my research mentor, but I'll be doing whatever, like what I said um, this morning, taking my afternoon sample and then making some spread plates. So I'll catch you guys after my research. 
I'm back. I'm doing my research. It is six o'clock. It didn't take long at all. All right, guys. I finished my cell biology lectures for the rest of the semester. I'm. I still have other lectures, but I'm all caught up by now. Um, neurobiology lectures haven't been posted yet, and microbiology hasn't been posted yet. She's going to post one tomorrow. Um, so I'm ready to go to bed. I'm going to take my shower and get in bed, call it a day, and then um, I'll be back tomorrow with another busy day good morning i don't know if you can hear but i have my heater on it is so cold <laughs> oh my gosh but this morning i'm about to start on some mcat i think i'm going to do some behavioral sciences so i'm gonna do psychology sociology review on you world gonna do some um you world questions to go over that and then we'll see where we go from there Okay, so I'm on my way to my professor's office hours. It's one o'clock. I was able to get two and a half hours of MCAT study done, and I was able to listen to one of my microbiology lectures. There is one more microbiology lecture that I have to watch, but it won't be posted until tonight. If everything feels cram, that's because it is. So my school decided that after Thanksgiving, we weren't coming back to school. So everything after that was going to be online. So finals go until December 10th. But my lovely professors decided, well, we don't want you guys to take your finals online, so we're going to cram everything in through these last two weeks of the semester. I have five tests in between this week and next week. I'm in the library with Adarius, so we're going to get some studying done. As you know, it's crunch time. We have one more week of the semester. It's time to get it done. So that's what we'll be doing. I don't know how long we're going to be in here, but I can stay in here for a while, so we'll just see. It's 11 o'clock and I'm still going strong. I'm not in the library anymore, as you can tell. I came back, you know, got something to eat. Don't deprive yourself of food. You gotta take care of your physical and mental needs because then you just won't be able to function and perform at your very best. So don't let that deteriorate just for, because you're studying for finals, exams, MCAT, whatever the case may be. But I got my tea with me. And also sleep is very needed, so I won't be staying up too much longer. I'm gonna end the vlog for today and I will catch back up with you guys tomorrow. Good morning. I'm sorry about yesterday, guys. I got really stressed. And I was studying. I literally was in the books until 12 a.m. That's all I did. <laughs> I just studied. I did have a project that I needed to do, and I did that. I submitted it at like 9 and then studied. So right now I am up, it's 9 o'clock, and I'm about to go do my research. I'm on my way back to the room. I'm going to get me something to eat, and then, of course, I'm going to study for the MCAT, do some U World questions. And then study for these final exams. Gotta get it done. I'm back at the school for the afternoon part of my research where I'm taking my afternoon samples and then DD spread plating and all of that. So that's what I have right now. I feel like every time you guys see me, I have a different mask on. But I'm doing my research. It went really fast. The plates were dry, really dry today. I don't know if you guys can hear the road with, like beside me is really loud. I'm sorry for that. But like I said, I'm doing my research. It's Friday. I'm going to study, study, study tonight. That's all I'm going to be doing. That and eating. You guys know I will have my chamomile tea. Yes, chamomile tea. And that's it. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed another week of my life as a pre-med student. If you like to see content like this as I bring you guys along with my pre-med to med school journey and as a post back student please like comment and subscribe i'll be taking you guys on this journey as far as interviewing tips for studying for the mcat how to get letters of recommendation just all of that so you guys don't want to miss it stay tuned and you guys know don't forget to live life smiling bye